Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Mark Lewis Johnson, Sr. of the Liberty Hill Baptist Church, and uh, I want to start by wishing everyone a happy holidays. Uh, so much to celebrate as you think about your family. But listen, as you are making the transition from your Thanksgiving stuff to your Christmas stuff, uh, there's a lot to think about. Uh, many of you know we do Home for the Holidays and we have events. Uh, actually, for the last five years, we've done events for our community with one purpose, to make sure that the community has something to do during the holiday season. Uh, but this has been a tough uh, 2014 uh, because a lot has taken place. A lot has been happening in our community that's, that's pushing us to new levels. Uh, we realize that with all the efforts of all the churches and all the feeding and all the grocery giveaways and all the events and all the worship celebrations and all the skating and ice skating and bowling and all the things that many of our churches are doing, violence is still violence. And we're finding out that young people who are being victimized by evil, um, they're also being victimized by individuals who are called to protect and serve. That's a challenge, as we're supposed to be celebrating Thanksgiving, celebrating Christmas. We're finding mothers and families grieving during this holiday season, and we have some work to do. Uh, I want to encourage everyone to join me. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about what Dr. R.A. Vernon is doing at the Word Church as he gathered a panel together of individuals who are going to be sharing some great things that's happening in our city, despite the challenges that we face. You're going to hear from our mayor. You're going to hear from our chief of police. You're going to hear from my dear, dear friend, Dr. Jawanza Coven of the Olivet Institutional Baptist Church. And you're going to hear from leaders who are just wanting to voice their opinion and voice their concerns. And in many cases, voice their frustration with what's been taking place with the young black men in our community. It is a challenge now more than ever before. And I'm asking all of Liberty Hill to have a ministry of presence at the Word Church this Monday, December 8th. I want you to come at 6 o'clock. Meet us there as things begin to take place. We don't want you not to have a seat, so come early. So with all of that going on, what are we to do? We are to do what we do. Many of you know I live in walking distance from the church, and that was intentional so that my family and I can be in the community we serve. You know that we had plenty of stories of police officers chasing suspects through our backyard and volunteering, breaking up fights at Mary B. Martin and some of the other schools in the area. We're, we're there in our community and we're striving to make a difference. But this season, I've been seeing and going and being a part of too many prayer vigils of young people who lost their lives. And so I'm praying for the Williams family. I'm praying for the Taylor family. I'm praying for the Rice family as they have to go through a holiday season without a young person who are unwrapping Christmas gifts. We know it's going to be difficult and it's going to be a time, a, a very hard moment for mothers who don't have their child and grandmothers. It's going to be hard, but we believe that we serve a God who not only wants us to talk about our faith, he actually wants us to walk it out as well. And so we've heard from families as they told us that they didn't want to take their kids trick-or-treating because they were afraid for their safety. So we had trick-or-treat in our church. We had 32 candy stations and 300 kids came and were a part of that. We're also hearing uh, some students who can't even get to their school in order to, they got accepted into college, but they can't get to school because of circumstances. Well, they got in my car and we took them to the university so they can make sure they enroll and go through orientation. We're also hearing it from parents who are, who are having difficulties during the summertime after school lets out because they have to leave their child, child to go to school. They have, they have to leave their child to go to church, they leave, leave their child to finish their degree, and they're afraid during the summer what's going to happen when they can't be at home to watch them. Well, we're doing a summer camp for all those mothers and parents out there who are looking for somewhere for their ch child to be. We'll take that up because we have so much work to do and we're gonna provide you with the resources and the time so that you can do what you need to do. I'm Pastor Mark Lewis Johnson Sr. of the Liberty Hill Baptist Church. May God bless you and keep you in his perfect peace this holiday season.